Hello, hello. I'm Evan Mazunik, and this is another Sound Painting Saturday coming to you again a few days late. Thank you for your forbearance, and I'm really excited that uh, we've had such a full year already. We're so close to the end of this 52 week series, I can hardly believe it. And this week, I was racking my brain uh, trying to think of what I would present next, and I had a compositional idea or issue or problem I wanted to share. And frankly, I wanted to figure this thing out before I came here on this video and shared it with you and present with you some amazing new idea, but that didn't happen. I actually came up against the obstacle and I thought, rather than keep this obstacle to myself, I'm going to open up and share it with, this, uh, with you, with our tribe here, our little community, and gather some input and some feedback and glean your wisdom as a community and really see how we can solve this together. This may be something where the solution is so simple it's eluding me. So I want to open it up and get your thoughts on this. So what I really want to have happen at the end result is working in groups. I love working with sometimes with pedal points and then with uh, especially with bass players and also with a bit more moving or almost like a walking bass. And I thought about maybe there's something like a stability fader or some type of almost like gravity fader, but for a bass player, a musician. And I thought, maybe again it's something like a drone. Let me sing for you, or even better yet, I'll go over to the piano and play for you what I'm thinking, as the end result might be something like a pedal tone, just here, here, here. It might be sustained, or it might be embellished. Let me play it for you. So there you heard I changed level, I changed register, I embellished it a bit, I had some type of uh, pulse to it. So it's not quite a long tone, or even like a, a long tone with some pulse. It's not quite a drone, although it does have a bit of undulation and pitch. Uh, it's not exactly just uh, undulating between one or two pitches uh, in a step away from each other. But I think it might be something like a resetting or redefaulting of drone. What I really want though is in classical music theory, as you would call it, as a pedal point. And I'd also love to be able to open that up and ask my bass player to then start maybe almost like walking a bass line. But I don't necessarily want it to be like a swing, some type of swing or bop bass line. I want them to have some type of mobility and maybe play with that, uh, all the shades in between some type of pedal and some type of walking line for a bass player. So again, let me know what you think about this. I have a feeling it has something to do with drone, but it's not exactly the real classic definition of a drone where you undulate a few long tones uh, within a selected range back and forth. So again, you can see I'm struggling with this, trying to put this into an easy and simple way to sign, working with like one note only, but maybe the rhythm is open. So I would love, love, love to hear back from you on this. Send me an email, Skype, Facebook, whatever your preferred method of communication is, send it to me. And I would love to gather this and collaborate with you on this and solve this together. And then I'd love to come back next video and present these ideas and give a report and really, really uh, almost treat it like uh, a collaborative contest in a sense to come up with a solution to this. So. Again, I look forward to your uh, responses. Go ahead and leave a comment uh, below this video or shoot me an email. Uh, you can find my contact information on Bliss Street Studios. And I hope you have a great week, and I will see you soon for just a few more videos in the Sound Painting series.